Hi everyone, welcome. This is Donna Rockwell. I'm with Cape Cod Can and today we're going to be painting a winter scene with birch trees. Um, if you're familiar with birch trees, they're the white ones that you can see in the winter time. Their bark peels a little bit so they have kind of a white and black appearance. So we will be painting those today and I'm going to show you a few techniques that are used for getting a really good birch tree effect. So let's go over your materials to start with. You should have a canvas board, it's eight by 10, a small paintbrush. You should have a few different color of paint. There's purple, black, and you should have two white pots. So to begin with, we're gonna use the black, one white pot and the purple. You should have a few little pieces of cardboard and this is our secret weapon for painting birch trees. So hang on to those. And if you haven't already, you might wanna get yourself a small cup of water and a paper towel for cleaning off your brush in between colors. And that's about it to get started. We don't have too many materials for this, just a few interesting techniques to explore. So to begin with, we're gonna start with your purple paint and one of your white paints. So you can go ahead and get a little bit of purple paint on your brush. We're gonna paint about two thirds of the way down the board. So one third, two third, right about here. We're gonna give ourselves some rolling hills. The shape doesn't matter too much. Just kind of a swervy line. Um, this will be where our sky meets our ground in our painting. And we're gonna paint the sky first in this painting. Okay, so our sky is gonna be a combination of purples and blues. It kind of brings about the cold winter colors, the cold winter air. We can mix our paints in two ways. If you have a small plate or even a piece of cardboard or scrap paper, you can mix your paints on the side, but I'm gonna show you today how you can just mix them right on the canvas. Since we're kind of doing a sky, Maybe on a windy day, we're gonna let our paintbrush strokes show and we're gonna let kind of streaks of white and streaks of purple blend together, okay? So I'm gonna start with a little bit of purple. I'm just gonna get some paint on there, keep dipping in. I'm gonna get a good amount of paint on there. I'm kind of giving myself some swervy lines that look a little bit like the wind maybe, okay? In no particular order, I'm kind of moving around the canvas, just getting some paint on there. Now, normally I would have you wash your paint brushes in between colors, but not this time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take just one of the pots of white paint and you're gonna dip your purple paint brush right into the white. Doesn't matter if they mix, that's why we have two on this project, okay? Whoa. So get a little white paint on there and since your purple paint is still wet, we're gonna mix the white right in there. And we're gonna let them kind of blend together right on the canvas. And we're not gonna worry about where we're really putting the paint because it's all gonna to mix together. And we're gonna go back and forth kind of in that swervy pattern. And you can use, I'm gonna put it down for a moment just to work. You can use um, as much or as little white paint as you want. We don't wanna glob it on there. so. When you put some of the paint down, really move it around and mix it with the purple, okay? In the end, we want nice swirls, but we don't want giant globs of paint. We kind of just wanna spread it around and mix it together and create a very interesting sky background for our birch trees. Give me one moment and I'll just show you what I have here. But take your time with this and you can go back and forth between the purple paint and the white paint um, till you get it the way you like. No need to rush. And remember, when you're doing a video painting class like this, you can stop it. You can always pause it, um, take a break, take your time, go back and redo something, get a little drink of water, whatever. That's the beauty of video, isn't it? So let me just show you where I'm at right now. I might stop soon, but you can play with this as much as you like till you get it to the point where you feel it looks like a nice, cool, wintry day. I'm gonna stop right about there. So you can see how I've got a lot of texture going and a lot of movement. It looks kind of like swishes of wind or snow on a nice crisp winter day. 
So play around with that until you get it just the way you like it. Okay. Okay. So we can actually put the purple paint aside for the moment. And I'm going to wash my brush off. So we've kind of used this white pot. You might have a little purple paint in there like I do. I'm going to put that one aside too. We have plenty of paint, so I'm just going to use a fresh pot of white paint for this next part. So go ahead and wash your brush. And just remember, before you work back into your painting, you want to dry your brush off on the paper towel as well, because if not, your paint might drip as you're working, and you want to just make sure that it doesn't. So I have a nice clean brush again. So this may seem a little weird, but we're actually going to paint the white part white. Why would we do that, right? So we have paint up here and you can see on your own canvas that the paint's a little shiny. So if we didn't put any paint down here, it would look a little different. It would be obvious that that's just plain canvas. So we're gonna paint white with white. Crazy, I know, but we will do it. So we're gonna use our white for the trees as well. But we're gonna start by painting the lower third of our painting white like a snowdrift, okay? So this is pretty straightforward. And scoop a little paint out there and paint the white part white. <laughs> and you want to go right up to that purple curve. Really just makes the canvas um, look like it's been treated, like it has a little paint on it. It gives it a different, different shine and a little bit of a different feel. Get a little more paint if you need to. Again, we don't want to put huge globs of paint on there. We just want to cover it. Mostly because we want it to dry in a reasonable amount of time. If our paint's too thick, it will take a very long time. Okay. So I would suggest at this point that maybe you take a little break. We want this to dry just a little bit um, so that we're not working too much wet paint into other wet paint. So this would be a good time to take a little break if you need it. Um, but I'm going to just keep going. But you, if you have the time, give your painting a little minute or two to dry. Um, and when you come back, the next part we're going to do is paint our birch trees. So the birch trees generally are white trees with a little bit of black accent to it. So we're going to start by using that same pot of white paint and just bringing our trees up from the bottom. So they'll start down in the snow and they'll go all the way up. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna get a little scoop of paint on my brush. And the more dry your purple is, the easier this will be, but it works. You can do it on wet paint too. So let's think ahead for a minute. How many trees do we want in there? I think I'm going to do four trees. So you can put them anywhere you want on this painting, um, but just make sure you have a little plan in mind so that you have enough room to do what you want. Um, so birch trees are fairly straight trees. And you can take your birch trees almost to the edge or you can have them stop part of the way up. I'm getting a little purple on my paintbrush, but I don't mind because it actually gives it a nice, again, that nice wintry feel. You can even have one of your birch trees be so tall that it goes right off the top. Okay. So I have one, two, three there. I'm gonna put one more in there, a little guy, I think. Okay. So I have my four basic trees here. I'm gonna add a little bit to them. I'm gonna give them a few little branches. So for the trees, I held my paintbrush nice and flat like that. For my branches, I'm actually gonna turn my paintbrush. Instead of it being flat like that, I'm gonna turn it sideways. And I'm gonna just come off to the side a little bit. Not too many. I'm just going to put a couple little branches in there. Get my little guy, a couple branches. Grab more paint if you need more paint on there. Okay. And again, the difference when I painted my birch trees, I held my paintbrush nice and flat like this and came up. When I'm doing my branches, I'm turning it on its side. So it's a skinnier brush to work with. And from there, I can get thinner lines that look a little more like branches. All right, that's a couple more in there. I 
think I'm pretty happy with that. I have four pretty good sized trees, number of branches. So I like my composition. And you can see how the purple kind of blended in a little bit and gave my trees a little more of a base. So your trees would go from down in the white section all the way up into the purple section. So this is what's called the foreground. Okay, so your trees are in the foreground. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Now it's the fun part. So right now they just look like white trees. Um, but there's a little trick we use to turn these white trees into birch trees. So let me show you how that's done. So sometimes we use tools when we paint that aren't actually painting tools. And for this one, we're actually going to use just a plain strip of cardboard. You probably have a couple of those in there. I give you a couple just in case one gets a little messy or you can't use it anymore. Um, but this is a very simple technique and you kind of do it just in one shot. Um, so what we're gonna do is clean off our brush because we're gonna use the black paint for this. So give your brush again another wash and dry it on your paper towel so you don't have drippy paint, okay? So if you have a paper towel or a plate or some newspaper, anything that you can put paint onto that won't ruin it, um, you can just scoop a little paint out. I'm actually just gonna use my paper towel, okay? I'm gonna scoop out some black paint and just put a smear of it on my paper towel. So for this next part, um, just watch me for a moment. We're not going to do a lot of painting. It's kind of a short, quick um, technique that gives you a nice effect for birch trees. And much like we did the white paint on the wet purple paint, we actually wanna do this on wet white birch trees. So if your painting's still wet at this point, that's a good thing, okay? So you're gonna take your piece of cardboard. Yours might look a little different than this. You're gonna take your piece of cardboard and we're gonna put paint just on the edge here. So if you look on here, I put a little paint on my paper towel. I'm just gonna rub the edge into the paper, tape, paper towel and pick up a little black paint. So if you can see that, I only have it on the edge, okay? So just put a little black paint on the edge and it doesn't even take too much. Now watch this, this is the fun part, okay? So to make these into birch trees, so if you've ever seen a birch tree, it has kind of black stripes as it goes up the trunk. So I'm gonna take that edge that has the paint on it, I'm gonna put it on one side of my birch tree and I'm gonna very lightly drag across, okay? a good amount of paint on there. I probably didn't need that much. Um, but just very lightly, oh there we go, that's a good one. Just very lightly drag some black paint across your birch tree. So I'm on my third tree and I haven't even grabbed more paint. And look at that nice effect. They're starting to look like birch trees. Okay. Now, you might want to practice this. You can even practice this on a sheet of paper or something before you do it on your painting. You can see my last one there is a little bit lighter. I was starting to run out of paint there. If you run out of paint, just dab it in there again and get a little more. And work it in. Okay. So you can use the point of your piece of cardboard too to kind of scratch into there because um, birch trees kind of look a little, almost like they have little lines in them. So I used my cardboard, piece of cardboard two ways. I used it flat on its side to drag across, and then I used a corner of it to kind of cut into it a little bit and give myself some texture. And then just play with it a little bit. But this is a very quick, pretty effective way of making a white tree look like a birch tree. Now you can take your time with this and you can do each tree individually. You could work a little more white in there. I might put a little more white back into that one because it looks a little heavy with the black. But try this technique, I think you'll like it. And sometimes it's good to use things that you find around the house or that aren't necessarily paint brushes and try them out on your paintings. See what the texture looks like. See what kind of effects you can get with it. Um, so this is one of those opportunities where we can try a different material, use it to paint, and see what the results are.
because sometimes art is experimental, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed making these birch trees. I hope you found a new technique that you can use with a new material with the cardboard piece of material. Um, so try that out and hopefully this will put you in the mood for some snow and get you in the winter spirit. So I hope you enjoyed making our winter scene with birch trees and we would love to see your finished work. And thank you for joining us and for joining Cape Cod Can for this painting. Thank you. See you soon.